Hi. Hi. My name is Dave. Pink Fox in the house. Welcome to another video. So this I episode we're going to talk about the infamous smack that swept the nation. We both have similar but not quite the same opinions on this, and it had to get out there eventually anyway. I mean, the kind of thing that started these this whole discussion and rant series in the first place was that not everyone on YouTube knows about this, but it was like this email that went out to the YouTuber Biju Mike about it from a, ki a kid's mother. And I gave my perspective on that. I haven't done one of those type of things in a while, so let's go to the news to the infamous... Um, Will Smith and Chris Rock altercation on the Oscars. Let's talk about that. <laughs> In my opinion, I felt like it was kind of brought on in a way because Chris Rock has made some rough jokes and just like when it comes to medical circumstances with Dave, I don't joke about those things and considering what Jada Pinkett Smith is going through, I didn't think he should have done that either. I do think husbands should stand up for their families and their wives. That's, yeah. And that's why I'm kind of, I was interested in the whole situation because certain people in my life, they don't really stick up for me, like, or my mom when it comes down to it. And it really frustrates me because we are their family and just like, a whole bunch of drama it's unnecessary but i think in a way that it was brought on because he did go after his family family always comes first of course yeah. he's gonna end up reacting like that he did admit it was uncalled for at the moment but at the same time it i mean for what he was actually said he's glad it wasn't a punch to the face it was just a smack <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's true um i think there's always like this is one of those situations where they're two, like there are two sides to a coin kind of thing on one end and this has been said a lot um a lot of people think that his wife deserved it for you know certain past circumstances that have gone on. I mean, Jada um, Pinkett Smith has also had, like, she also had an affair about five years ago with the dude named Augustina that was brought up after that. She even said that she wished Will hadn't done that. Sure. But in a way, it just shows what a family man is supposed to do for his family. Yeah. I mean, and sure, maybe it was. The Oscars, I mean, a lot of things are scripted. Sometimes I feel like the Oscars aren't to a degree. No, they're not. Well, some, some of it Some of it is, be. yes, but that wasn't. That will definitely Otherwise, I'm pretty sure they wouldn't have muted the whole yeah. keep my wife's name out of your effing mouth. <laughs> muted. Yeah, um, as I said, it's kind of two sides of one coin kind of thing. The one, on, As I said, on the one side, a lot of people think she deserves it for certain past circumstances, which, I mean, we've already just kind of went into vague detail but about. her and, having alopecia is a medical situation. Yeah. Like like I said, I don't joke around that type of stuff when it comes that's, to you. That's something I kind of frowned at as well. But at the same time, not everyone understands that. And looking into that circumstance, it's, you have to take in consideration those who don't understand you shouldn't do that are going to like take jabs, not in a bad way, just kind of in a meaning to be joking kind of way. Um, so in Chris's defense, he probably was just trying to joke and didn't realize how bad that kind of thing could be. But at the same time, in Will's defense, which Will's getting take get, getting a lot of shots. He's getting a lot of shots, and he's suspended from the academy. Yeah. Um, in, his def in Will's defense, because I'm going from both ends here, he did it, as she said, as a family man, to protect his family, to stand up for them, which is something you really should do. 
I mean, there are two sides. Family is family. doesn't matter if you're married to them or if they're by blood. If you're marrying someone, then that family becomes your family. Of course, you're going to have you're gonna stick up for him. I'd yeah. stick up for your sister and your brother and your parents any day of the week. It goes both ways, too. As much as my parents drive me freaking nuts. Hey, mine drive me nuts, too. But yours drive you nuts in, in, in different, different, different ways. ways. In different ways, but they, our parents do drive us nuts. Nuts. Nust? What the heck? I don't know. You can't English. I can never English. Just wait till the later but video today. I think in that's a way, cool. I think it could have been resolved off screen and not yeah. internationally that's as well that's what probably why he has so much backlash not just that but he also won an award like 20 30 minutes later the, i think the funny thing is with that is that it could have been both things could have been done off screen that one goes both ways as well Chris did not have to say that on screen. He could have just... He could have gone through another joke. Yeah, he could have that, gone... That joke... I mean, yes, it may have been a part of his set, but it was also not, like, as practice as the, at the rehearsal. So yeah. when Will saw his wife in tears and in shock from it, he stood up. Yeah. I mean, he may have snickered about it, like, to begin with, but that's because he wanted... That was probably just because a everyone else was laughing at it, but actually, when it was first seen, I I remember thinking Jada's face was like, yeah, I remember thinking when that first showed, I was like, he's taking it really, really well, and then he stands up, goes, walks up, up on stage, <laughs> and literally smacks the dork. Like, and the fact that and Chris, then yells, keep my wife's name out it, of your effing mouth. It wasn't until he yelled that where I was like, he's taking it really lightly. Then he says that, I'm like, ah, there it is. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> as I he's said, He's not though, losing his Oscar, but he is suspended from the Academy. Regardless, I guess I'm trying to, I guess I'm more kind of thinking of the psychology behind it where, again, as I said earlier... It, as we discussed, it could have been re it could have gone more off of the rehearsal. The other stuff that Chris said could have just been said like off screen or something, and would have like the GI Jane joke. Yeah, like a, a lot of that stuff could have. been I love saved. a lot of Chris Rock's jokes, but even I was shocked at that one. Yeah, yeah. No hate towards either of these two individuals. They're like I love Chris Rock. He's funny. I love Will Smith. He's very inspirational. Yeah. I grew up watching Fresh, Fresh Prince of Bel Air and almost everything with Will Smith in it, like Men in Black. Great film. <laughs> yeah, especially Men in Black International. I like the first one the best, but I grew up with 80s stuff, so that's no surprise. But it could have been resolved off screen. It didn't have to be. None of it had to be done no, off screen. Yeah. I mean, it could have. He could have gone up to him after the show and punched him for all we cared. Yeah, as long that's, that's, it, that's probably right there. That probably would have been a smarter idea than putting his career on the line. Mm, yeah. But in a way, I'm also glad he did because it showed Jada how much she me means to him. In a sense, that's actually kind of like how I am. So I understand the mindset of what Will did. Uh, it's more... In his defense on this front, and Chris again, in Chris's defense, he doesn't know better. He doesn't understand certain things that would lead to that. Plus, it's kind of his thing to do that kind of thing. Normally. It's kind of his thing to throw dark jokes. Yeah, but that one was way too far. Once you go too deep into the rabbit hole, it's hard to get out. So that's Chris's defense. In um, Will's defense on this front, it, it's kind of like how I am. If somebody were to simply just well, it's the idea of this. Let me phrase it this way. What Will Smith was doing was the mindset of you bitch at me, I'll bitch back. You punch me, I'll punch back. You kick me, I'll kick you back. Kind of thing. Whatever it's you do to me, I'll do It's basically for an eye for an eye type yeah. thing. Thank you. I was looking at for that phrase. Thank you. So, really, the whole situation with that is comes down to, like, 
what do you, what does each individual person believe? Like the reason out there, a lot of people think that Will Smith's line, uh, his career is on the line because of the one things him being suspended. He's not blacklisted or anything. Um, I mean, he has no reason to be. But he might be permanently retiring after that. Yeah, I mean, he's been doing this for a long time. Combined anyway. with him, Jada Pinkett and Jaden Smith, they have a net worth of. Three hundred and forty million dollars, which is well enough. Yeah, that that will hold them regardless of where they live, almost. But that's beside the point. Even, I mean, it goes both ways. You look. The thing is, a lot of the internet has pointed faults at whether it's one person or the other. They can't look at it from both ends and go, "Well, they're equivalently at fault." The internet has to go off of, no, it's this guy's fault. No, it's that guy's fault. I mean, in my opinion, I think Will could have been the bigger person and resolved it off screen. But yeah. in a way, I'm... Because Jada's reaction to, like, I've read it. I, I've been keeping up with the whole thing. Yeah. And Jada even said that she wished he didn't do it because it kind of soured his moment on it stage when he accepted his award for best actor and as much as i love chris rock and as much as i love will smith the joke was uncalled for the slap was uncalled for it could have been talked about off screen could have been yeah. resolved off screen it, the whole and, thing could have been done off screen it would i mean he could have punched him off screen for all we care and he wouldn't have gotten suspended from the academy yeah. but still well, regardless, I guess this this thing, like, the reason, I, another thing that's bothering me about it isn't just the event itself, it's more the fact that people keep talking about it. I mean, people have memed it, people have, you you could go anywhere and you'll find something. Everything's a meme at this point now. Oh it's kind of sad, even the Shallow song is. I mean, Now it's, it's got... sung at last year's Oscar. Okay, well, there's some things that deserve it, some things that just need to be dropped. And the, when it's not dropped, that's when that's when you can tell it's just being taken too far. I mean, the action was too far on its own, but the fact that people just won't... This is where rumors come from. This is why people lose their dang heads. People if I like, see one more thing about it on Facebook, I'm going to lose my head. You're on a. I, I'm gonna point this out. This is obscure and out uh, off topic, but she's on an older, an old person website more often than I am. <laughs> and on Instagram. That one's not an old person. And actually. Snapchat. Instagram. It, is... It's it's on all three platforms. And if I see one more thing about it, you're gonna lose your mind. Yeah. Yeah. And I've already lost my mind, so you can just imagine where it's gonna go from there. I have an idea. <laughs> Yeah, because he has to hear it. Eh, I don't mind. But yeah, I guess in conclusion to all this, it could have gone both ways. It's just more the fa the matter that if you're going to bicker or if you're going to say something that's not exactly a good idea to say to the public, then don't or say do it in front of the public. Don't do it or say it. It's just not a good idea. It's it's kind of stupid on your part too. Yeah. So I guess. For Long haul, they're both at fault, equivalently. Regardless of who says what, they're both equivalently at fault. That being said, we're going to stop talking about this. We've been going at it for almost 15 minutes now. Thanks for tuning in to this video, guys. Uh, what are your guys' opinions on it? If you um, have anything to add or any opinions of your own you'd like to say, just let it leave it in the comments below. Um, Want to check out any other discussion rant type videos like this? The link is probably hovering over the left. The, this this part of my head here <laughs> oh wait what part of your head like, you right don't here. have right you don't have a head <laughs> oh my god <laughs> okay. um but if you if this isn't quite the stuff you like watching why not check out the link that's like right above hers or check out the channel itself you might find way more options there in the meantime we're gonna head off thanks again for tuning to this video everyone we hope to see you in another bye bye, -bye.